Okay guys, welcome to the channel on the first episode of the Edison Club. So, me and my teammate Justin Perkins, we're getting ready to go to a Switch tournament on December 3rd at Picante TCG in Greensboro. So we kind of both know what we're playing and we are going to, we've already basically play tested with our actual decks. So um, we're going to start testing a multitude of decks throughout the next couple of weeks. This is one that managed to get top eight at one of uh, E3 Yu-Gi-Oh's tournaments, um, Black Wings here. I do believe that Justin said that he's going to be playing Welly Dad. So we're going to get some games in here. We have a whole plethora of decks here that we can choose from to play. Um, anywhere from obviously ignoring the modern format Crystal Beast deck. We have Black Wing, Evil Hero, Flamvel, Keegan's Glad Beast, Glad Beast from Dual Devastators, Hopeless Dragon, all the way down to Volcanic Garden, etc. And then we can basically just head on over to uh, edisonformat.com and get any other deck that we want to test. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go join a game here. Dual note for Justin. Make sure we are playing Black Wing and an Unrated. And we just sit here and we wait. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Justin did say he's playing Welly Dad. Um, so basically, our thoughts behind doing this are where we play Test for Edison. It's a lot of people playing Dragons. Several folks playing Gladiator Beast. Uh, we don't really have a lot of testing um, against... Uh, like Blackwing or Welly Dad. We have a couple players that play those, but we really want to get a better understanding of the, the way those decks operate. Um, as always, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure that you make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really motivates me to keep going, make more content, more gameplay videos, things of that nature for you guys. Um, it's going to be our first dueling book um, style Edison game here. Really prefer to make these in person, uh, but my teammate Justin lives uh, about an hour away, so getting together can be sort of difficult when there's not an event. So me and him usually end up just playing on Dueling Book. Um, at this rate, waiting for him to come join the game, I could have just drove to his house. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Of course, um, for me, this is my first time piloting Blackwing, so uh, excuse the misplays. We're going to kind of go over what I'm thinking here uh, in the plays and um, kind of just see how things end up. Here he is, finally. So we're going to get into this game here. It says Blackwing, uh, me, B-Boyd, SR191 playing Blackwing versus Justin, Halen7777 playing Welly Dad. We're going to go with Paper. <laughs> All right, starting things off good. Uh, we win the rock, paper, scissors. Uh, I'm going to silence this. Okay, so Edison format. We get to draw for going first. Our hand is very, very strange. So let's see. Good luck. Let's see here. Good luck. Have fun. Okay, so I feel like throwing Shura out probably just gets ran over. I feel like maybe there's there's an argument to set Vayu so I can summon Soroku on the next turn. If he stops the summon, we have an armed wing play. Then if he stops the armed wing, we, we're just kind of stuck. But I think we just, I almost think we play it slow here. We're just going to set this and pass. I'm going to turn this down. I kind of like the sound effects. It makes me feel like I'm playing in the anime. So let's see how this ends up working out here. It's a scary matchup, Willy Dad, so... At least we know we're not going to get fire dogged. Got Stratos comes down. Yeah, we might just actually just lose this game. No effect on Stratos, okay? I'm dumb. Oh no! Does he have all of his targets in his hand? E Telly, okay. Teleport comes down. This summons out Krebins. What is this? Goyo? Brio? If it makes Brio, we're in a weird situation. Let's 
He also does know I'm playing Blackwing. So, I don't know. He does go for Brio, okay. Pitches Mally. Hits me for 2300. Main phase two, set, pass, okay. Stand by main. All right, um, I think we're kind of forced to go ahead and just upstart goblin first. Oops, upstart goblin first. Okay, that's a really good draw. That's actually a really good draw. Uh, we're gonna extermination here. All right, all right, that actually would have really hurt us here. So, what's our best play here? Uh, okay, banishes both Regeki breaks. Vayu does nothing, Kalut does nothing by himself. We have no targets on Blizzard. Dad is not live, Soroko's... Okay, we definitely go Shura. We go Shura attack. Okay, now we get our Shura effect. What do we want to get here? What's in the graveyard? He has three darks, so there is the potential for dark armed, uh, which is definitely not good. Um, so how do we recover here from dark armed? Because this, this is Welly Dad, so his, uh, no, not back to draw phase. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. He has two darks. Okay, so he has Krebin's Malicious. So I think we can do... kind of want to go Gale um, for Armor Master, but I almost want to save Gale for later. We're going to go ahead and put a Vayu in Grave. We'll just make a... Uh, hopefully he doesn't have Gores. That'd be really bad. Please, no. Okay, so... Okay, all right, this is good because... We make Cataster here. Uh, do we really? Let's see. If we make Cataster here, uh, we're at three darks, but if he kills Cataster, we go to four. So is it better to just make Android? So if he runs over Android, we have Blizzard for recovery into a throwaway level six uh, into a dark line. I think we make, I'm pretty sure we go for Android here. It's like probably one of the rare cases that we actually make magical android. And this lets us gain 600. Also, if you're new to Edison format, sure, the blue flame negates Vayu's effect on field, so you can synchro with it into something like Android or Cataster. But we basically, I feel like Cataster is not good in that scenario um, for multiple reasons. Okay, all right. Now we have Dark Armed. We have Dark Armed. Um, if we summon, okay, if we summon, say, Vayu, and he Torrentials, that turns off Dark Armed. If we summon Dark Armed and he Torrentials, we're kind of, I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. I kind of want to set Icarus and set Vayu, but also at the same time, it kind of messes up our Dark Armed, but we can... We can work around that, I think. If we dark arm the back row, Blizzard back the Shura. Okay, so we, I think we go, I think we just go all in. Okay, I think, I think we just go in here because let me do some quick math here. So he's at 7,300 and we hit for 2,400 uh, 2,800, and that would leave him at 2,100. So I think I think we're actually pretty good here. Unless he has DD Crow. So we bring this back. Uh, we're gonna we're just going to. Uh, I think we're gonna make Brio. We make Brio. Is that the right play here? If he's if he has Gores, we have throwaway Darks. Do we just make, yeah, I think we definitely make Armed Wing because it le lets our Icarus attack stay live. So we'll go small, okay, all right, sweet. 
All right. I don't know how we managed to win that. I think both of us kind of bricked, honestly, and Blackwing is just not a deck that you want to brick against. Okay. Welly Dad. Um, Crow's, Crow's good, right? Hitting. I never saw if he's playing zombies, but I'm pretty sure that deck does play zombies. Um, there's an argument to knock to hit Goblin Zombie Pyramid Turtle. Mm, deck Debbie. Deck Debbie feels okay. Feels alright, you know? It feels okay. Hmm. He, we know he's on trap cards, so I'm not signing out any kind of back row removal. Mirror Force, I've always felt like in this matchup, is a little strange. But I think we're pretty well-rounded in this matchup here. Um, I think I'm going to take out Dust Shoot going second. Uh, we also can take out Upstart Goblins for better cards. So um, we're not going to sign out anything here, here, here. Um, we know he's on trap, so I think we side out upstarts for Crow. Um, Cyber Dragon, technically, I mean, could work for extension going second, but I don't really think that we need it. We might need Gores in this matchup, but Royal Oppression being up is kind of weird. The, uh, Dust Shoot's still kind of strange. Mm, let's try this. We can tell all the little guys with Deck Debbie, Krebins, Goblin Zombie out of hand, Sangin. Let's just, um, yeah, let's let's try this. Let's see how this works. Okay, all right. This is uh, this is weird. If we get hit with a dust shoot, I think we're pretty sunk. Set one. That's probably a Goblin Zombie. Maybe I should have put the the Nobleman's in. There's a lot of back row. So we have options here. I don't think we heavy. Could have road. I mean, we can extermination and space typhoon. Um, what are the odds that he neg negates a lord? Do I want to? Is there a world where I want to do this first? Okay, I almost think maybe we should allure first. Because if I don't hit anything decent off this allure, I think we lose. Hmm. You know what? No, we're not gonna risk it. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna do full send. Come on. There we go. Sorry for the lag. Uh, okay, that's a good one. That's good. That's a good one. This card's actually insane in the way that Edison has shaped up right now. I think I just... Okay. All right. Uh, do we blind space the other one? What would he activate on his turn that we would need to MST on his turn? Hmm. I'm definitely going to get rid of it. Um, hmm. I'm going to try to allure first. If he saw him judgment's allure, then he's just built different. Hmm. Greffer. This is weird because Greffer nets us nothing. But I think it's better to hold on to Greffer than it is Kalute. Um Now the real question here. Is do we heavy or space? I'm gonna I'm gonna space. Shadow mirror, okay. Alright. Do we just set do we set judgment and pass here? I really need a dark to be able to do literally anything. Um you know what? I'm not gonna play into heavy. Uh I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna pass. We got rid of his Deep Prison and his Shadow Mirror. So we're in pretty good. We can heavy away whatever that is, as long as it's not Dust Shoot. Okay, now we have Shura. Now, now we have something here. I think we definitely Heavy Storm. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Let's see. Let's make sure we're in our main phase here. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna go sure and do an attack. Tomato. Tomato is good. Obviously going to get our Shura effect. So he goes into Goblin Zombie. Uh, do we want to do anything to Goblin Zombie? Goblin Zombie. Goblin Zombie searches. Puts two. Goblin Zombie will search for either Mizuki or Zombie Master. This gets 1500 or less, right? Okay, so we got Gale. Gale, Kalut, Vayu. I'm at eight. Uh, we, whatever we want to do, we want to try to keep a winged beast on the field. I almost wonder if we don't. Hmm. This is a strange position. We got started very slow here. We have Judgment and Icarus. So whatever I do, I'm going to end with a winged beast. So do I Gale and attack that goblin zombie or do I gale I, I guess I need to keep him off I think I need to because I need to keep him off of Caius I feel like keeping him off of Caius is good he's gonna Tragodia on the damage that's fine Tragodia is currently 12 he's gonna go up to 18 I'll have Tragodia we just found out the other day that Tragodia will be permanently whatever it was halved. So, he was 18. So now he's permanently 900. Will not gain attack, will not lose attack. So, uh, this can be modified to level 4. He searched Goblin. Uh, let's see, what did he search here? Uh, he searched. Okay. He got Zombie Master. So Zombie Master, Pitch, Revive, Goblin Zombie. We have Judgment and Icarus. I think we just chill. If he has Heavy Storm, I think we're kind of in a pretty bad spot. But we have Greffer. We can top deck a Dark. I don't think that making Armor Master was good here. Like the only way Armor Master I think would have been good here is if we made Armor Master here, got lucky, drew a dark, we normal dump value and then make a silver wind. But these guys are pretty threatening. So he's going to go trag, trag to level four. Uh, target Goblin Zombie. Trag is now level four. Okay. Krebens. Uh, let's see. Krebens is a normal summon, I think. Um, ne we're never going... Okay, let's see. If I Icarus, that puts him at 4. He can't drop Dark Arm, and he's already normal summon. Do I want to keep Gale, or do I want to keep Shura? Um, what follow-up does he have from here? Gale... Gale outs more threats than Shura does. Gale Greffer. Gale with Greffer plays around Gores better because I okay, I think we go here. That m might have been a mistake. I'm not sure. Okay. Ah. We got we got so rewarded. We got so we did what was right and we got rewarded. So now now here's the thing. Um, if he has gores, we know one card zombie master. Uh, does he have gores? Blizzard, bring back Shura. Okay, the question really isn't does he have gores. How do we out gores if he has it? We can. Okay. Do we just attack for 213? I think that's I think that's the move. That's the move. We don't have I don't think we have a way to get lethal. So I think I think that's the move. This has to do defense position. Yep. Okay, I think we're just gonna go. We're gonna hit for twenty six. Let's see if he Okay, he takes it. See if he drops gores on the last attack. 
Okay. Does not have gores. Now, what is the best thing we can make here? We have level seven access and we have level six access. Once again, I still seem to think that Vayu, let's see, we can make, hmm, we have judgment. Brio, we can make armed wing. Okay, we can, armed wing or armor master. I think we make armed wing. Does piercing. He has Zombie Master, which we can solemn judgment. He's at too many darks for dark armed. Hmm. This is tough. This is a tough decision. I mean we don't have to make anything. Nothing is is super great in this position that we're in currently. But I don't know. I think I almost think we just pass. I don't think either one of those are that great. I think we just pass. Because any big play he makes, I'm going to judgment unless he drew heavy storm, which would really suck. So he makes goblin zombie or he summons zombie master. Uh, I'm going to judgment the summon. So now we have options here. If he sets like some back rows here, we actually can make plays that can deal with them versus just having an armed wing here, which there's still the theory, like I said, that you could have made armed wing here in case it dies and we draw a dark. Uh, we can do some stuff. 52. What are the odds that he made mirror force or that he drew mirror force? Torrential is gone. So I think that we can make Brio. Hmm. I think that we can make Bryanak here. This is such a tough decision. D prison is gone. Torrential's gone. That would have meant he drew Mirror Force. But what if he if it is Mirror Force, we're pretty we're in a pretty bad spot if it is Mirror Force. We switch this Shura to attack position. Hmm. I think we can make armed wing. Okay, I think this is the play here. I think we make armed wing. Because at least if he has mirror force, we can get into Vayu. So. Okay, no mirror force. Okay. Main phase two, he's at 16, I'm at four. I have brain graph or gale armed wing so still don't know if this is the correct play I'm trying to I wonder if this what if that's if it was telekinetic power well he probably would have flipped it I guess all right we're just gonna pass at least top deck greffer now makes an armor or a top deck dark with greffer makes armor master so if he somehow kills this armed wing Gale I think Gale puts up a lot of pressure because it makes him okay Sangin. Sangin is good. Yeah, telekinetic. I couldn't remember if this banished them during the end phase or not. Yeah, so it definitely was telekinetic. All right, this is going to make Cataster or Android. Um, and Nets a search. He's already normaled. Uh, he's still too many over for dark armed. Okay, Android. So the end phase, he'll go to 1600. We just bring control and attack for game, unless he drew Mirror Force. But at this point, he has to attack Gale. So I take 11. Let's see. So I lose 11. Puts me down to 29. In phase. Okay, this is game. This is game. We're not even. We're not even joking. We're not. We're not playing here. We just go brain. And we win. Okay. Heck yeah. All right. This went good. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching the Edison Club. And we'll be back with more dual videos soon. Take it easy, everyone.